Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a pencil drawing effect in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and you can see that I've opened up a beautiful illustration of a wing in Illustrator and it's made up of lovely clean smooth vector lines and we're going to be working backwards to turn this into a more rougher hand drawn pencil looking effect. So we'll start by just selecting our graphic and you can do this with anything created in Illustrator that has a fill or a stroke it doesn't matter. And with the fill selected, we're going to go to the swatches panel and double click on a swatch. Just make sure that you have global selected. This is going to make changing the color of our pencil effect a lot easier later on. So that's now a global swatch as indicated by the little white tag in the corner of the swatch. Now we can now go to window, down to brushes, and you'll see this panel appear with a few default brushes. But if you go to the menu icon in the top right and down to open brush library artistic chalk charcoal pencil we will see this appear and we'll just close down that brush window and we can adjust the height of this as well if we'd like to see more brushes and we have some chalk and charcoal effects and the pencil ones are all the way at the bottom so we have pencil pencil feather pencil thick pencil thin so feel free to experiment for this tutorial, I'm going to focus on using the standard pencil effect. So I can click this and it will apply that art brush and it applies this as a stroke. Just select that stroke and make sure that it's the same color as your global swatch that you created. And we can close this down now. And if we zoom in, it's applied a pretty cool pencil effect to our illustration. And because it's added a stroke, we can even go into the stroke panel and we can adjust the width as well. So we can make it thicker or we can make it thinner. And you can see it updates on our graphic. Now we made that global swatch at the beginning, so we can just go into our swatches panel, double click on that swatch and we can adjust the color. So I'm gonna just change the color to, let's go for something like a gray. Turn on that preview. And you can see that it now looks a little bit lighter and a bit more like a pencil effect. Now you can adjust the color of this depending on whether you want it to be a bit softer or a bit harder. And the reason we made it as a global swatch because if we didn't, we'd have to keep going into the fill and changing the color and then changing the color in the stroke as well. So having a global swatch just means that we update our color here and it applies that to both the fill and the stroke together. Now we're actually going to add some lines behind this to simulate the appearance of being on lined paper. So we'll grab our line tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a vertical line. And we're then going to left click and hold shift to drag this line out. And then while we're holding shift, we're also going to hold the alt key and you'll see the cursor changes, indicating that we are going to create a copy. And then immediately after that, press <laughs> command or control D. I can't speak today. In fact, you can keep pressing this and even hold it down and it will continue to repeat that last action until we have a whole bunch of lines. And I'm just going to drag this line on the far right so it snaps right to the edge of the artboard. And of course the spacing is now incorrect, but I can drag over all of these lines and from the align panel at the top or on the right, I can select this option here, horizontal distribute center, and it will space all of these lines equally apart. And because our artboard that we're working on is a square, thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high, we can drag over all of these lines Go object, group them together, and then go object, no, then go edit, copy, edit, paste in front, and then hold shift and rotate from one of the corners until it rotates 90 degrees. And there we go, we've created a grid. 
and we can drag over both of these sets of lines, the horizontal and the vertical ones, and just go to object and group those together as well. And then go object, arrange, and just send them to the back. So the pencil illustration is on top of the lines. And we're also going to be applying the same pencil effect to the lines. So we can select our lined paper at the back and go to window down to brushes. And we've got that same pencil brush there. And we can select that and then go to the stroke. And I think I'll make this a little bit thinner for the lines. And we're going to double click the color picker and also make this considerably lighter. Now, if I zoom in really close, you can see that our illustration is on top of our lines. But if we go to transparency, we can actually change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And it will allow those lines to show through a little bit. So a little bit more realistic. It's a pretty small detail, but I think that when you're doing something like this, a lot of these little details can add up to a much better end result. And then in addition to changing our global swatch to change the color of the now pencil looking like illustration, we can also go to the transparency panel and we can bring down the opacity. So we could drop this to let's say 60%. And it may take a moment to update depending on how complex your illustration is. I think I might just go for, let's go for 70. So it's usually a case of adjusting the color, the blending mode and the opacity to try and find a balance that you're happy with between both the lines and the pencil drawn illustration. But there we go, we are done. And there we go. That's how to create a pencil drawing effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.